Day 15 is starting with us leaving the Sioux locks and loading up at Walmart, as you can see. We have about, oh, a stretch of four or five days here where we're not gonna see a grocery store. So we wanted to make sure we were stocked real well. We're leaving Walmart here in the next little bit and we will be headed uh, westbound in the UP to our reservations tonight, which are in Tequamanan Falls. Tequamanan Falls. Have you heard of Tequamanan Falls? No. Okay, you'll hear of it today. So we were about to pull out and we noticed something of interest. Plenty of things interesting in Walmart parking lots. What did we find, guys? Amish, Amish parking. parking space. Amish parking. So, if you look here, you got a trough with your water. Uh, you got your sign for your buggy. Apparently a buggy takes up the same width. Um, eh, horses water looks uh, questionable. Questionable. questionable at best. Anyway, Walmart, carriage parking, it's a thing. Apparently, because there's only one spot, they can only have like one to four Amish shopping at a time. So, if they're gonna have Amish, then you may want more parking. So we just got gas in Sioux, ran into a Canadian there at the gas station that comes across the border to get his, get his gas over here. He said right now it's about $4 a gallon on the other side. And of course it's about 280, 290 here. So we're headed westbound towards Chippewa something. And then tonight we'll be in Tequamanan Falls. But this is what the UP has looked like so far. The road's basically straight as an arrow. And uh, actually a little more interesting now with the pine trees. We didn't even have the pine trees a little ways back. This is Paradise, Michigan. First thing we've seen, pretty much. We are out here, wouldn't you say? I would say. I wouldn't want to get a flat tire out here. So, we ought to be, within, we're within a half mile of the end of the road. It was 20 degrees warmer just a few miles back. I guess the Lake Superior cooling effect. Here's the parking situation at Whitefish Point. It's just a gravel parking lot. You can see the kids and Cindy walking in. Lighthouse in the distance. So welcome to Whitefish Point. Great Lakes Shipwreck Historical Society, Whitefish Point Bird Observ Observatory, and Simi National Wildlife Refuge. We're at Whitefish Point in uh, Paradise, Mi no, we're in, at Whitefish Point, Michigan, the Shipwreck Museum. What lake are we looking at? Lake Superior. Lake Superior. Beautiful green color. Eat your heart out, Florida. How you like this beach? Throw a towel out on this beach. <laughs> Go ahead, Annie. Oh. Oh. Just walk right in, Owen. 
Tom, go ahead and wait in that. This is more Mr. Tyson. I'm not. I swear. Hey, I didn't come this far for fingertips. I'm to get my shoe off. Oh my gosh. It's like you put. Oh, oh, oh. It's cold. It's cold. Come on, Owen. Mama did it, you do it. Heck no. Come on. Was it nice and warm? Yeah. So apparently no one will get in the water after they've touched it with their fingers. So I'm going in. <laughs> it's uh, like a mountain stream. Give you my review. It's very similar to our mountain streams back in the Appalachian Mountains. Oh no, it's colder. I don't think so. I think it's colder. Okay. Quamanon Falls from Whitefish Point and uh, noticing just you know how remote it's been for the last hour or so of driving since we left Sioux really. One thing that's interesting is um, you know there are certainly places out west that are this remote but we've never been to a place with vegetation like this that is this remote. Uh, you know we've been lost out in Valley of the Gods and uh, places like that where there wasn't a soul around but there were also no trees and vegetation uh, so this has a different kind of a different character to it I mean if you broke down out here boy you'd be looking at a high tow bill so come on Seymour get us there our first truck the boys named Chevy it was a Chevy <laughs> and when they were babies they named it Chevy and we had that truck until y'all were how old uh, uh, like, I don't know nine when we sold that truck the boys cried they were they really for days they were kind of they were mad at us. When we got this truck, we wanted to name it Seymour. Not after the Long Long Honeymoon's truck Seymour, but I had an uncle named Seymour. And of course it takes us to Seymour. So we came up with the idea independently of Loloho. And the boys are refusing to let us call this truck anything. Anyway, whether the boys name the truck Seymour or not, that's what I call the truck, and that's what it is. No, it's not. And they can be upset about it all they want. You're going to get a lot of hate comments. Seymour is taking us to Tequamen and Falls. Guys, Seymour has brought you on five summer adventures over 30,000 miles. The truck. Seymour here. The